Hey, you know what they say, right? Be careful what you ask for, or you might get it. So here it is. 10 more features for the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. Hey, you wanted it, right? So you got it. Let's move. First up, one-handed mode. Now, what exactly is one-handed mode? Well, basically, it's a screen minimizer. Now, go to settings and then look for advanced features. Once you get to advanced features, you're going to be scrolling up and looking for one-handed mode. Now, this is going to allow you to sort of shrink your screen. So if you're just using one hand, you'll be able to manipulate the controls much easier. Now, notice that I have one-handed mode turned off. Now, if I go ahead and turn it on, then I'll be able to shrink the screen by either using my gesture or double tapping on the home button. Now, notice my gesture mode is active, but my home button is not. It is grayed out right now. Now, you're asking, why is that? You know why you're asking that? Because you have the same problem, don't you? Well, let me show you how to fix that. Go into your settings, and then what you're going to look for is display. Now, once you hit display, scroll up a little bit, and you're going to be looking for navigation bar. Now, you just have the navigation bar there. You may not have enabled your home button. So here it is. Mine is swipe gestures, and that's what's enabled on mine. So I don't have a home button, do I? So all you have to do is to press your home button, select it, and guess what just magically appears at the bottom of your screen the home button <laughs> don't you wish you can just magically make things appear in your bank account too well let's move on so now you see the home button is at the very bottom right well it should be in my one-handed mode area also don't you think so let's go and check back to advanced features right and then you're going to look for what you remember one-handed mode you see it there well tap on it and then we're going to see that the gestures is still active but what we're looking for is the home button right and voila look at the very bottom it is now active and i just showed you guys how to do that right so don't forget about me when you see me standing on the corner of mike site street and youtube avenue okay so go ahead and hit your home button now and let's see if this thing actually works now from here what you should be able to do is double tap on your home button and then you will see that the screen is now minimized it's smaller and you'll be able to just tap on the outside to bring it back to life you see what i'm saying so double tap again test it out hey it works right hey and i just remembered i'm left-handed so how do i move this thing over well that's easy just tap on that little arrow and you'll move it to the left and then tap on the arrow again move it to the right see <laughs> you left left-handed people got it right and that was the first one let's go to the next how about a language translator that's built into your keyboard now I don't know how many times I've tried to send a text message to someone who did not know how to speak English and I ended up using a third-party app it was the most frustrating thing but here you'll be able to go ahead and type your text hit the translate button and it will translate the entire text for you just like that because it's built into the keyboard now that is amazing isn't it and all you have to do is simply to type the word well it can be a paragraph or it can be a whole book if you want but anyway select the language that you want you see what i just did and i'm going for espanol spanish now if I select Spanish and I look to my very bottom of the keyboard on the right hand side, I can translate that word and it will give me the correct translation for that word, which is hola. And from there, all I simply need to do is to send the text message over to mi amigos or mi amigas, and they will understand exactly what it is that I'm trying to say. So how about any other language? You think that might work too? Well, let's give it a shot. Test it out. And I've selected French for this one. So look, at the very bottom, it says done. It does not have the translation. So you have to delete the word or the text that you have and retype it again. And then you will notice that the translation button at the very bottom will appear. Go ahead and do that. And it will give you the correct word. Bonjour. <laughs> I bet none of you thought that I could speak different languages, did you? And just for the sake, you know, three's a charm. Let's try it one more time. Okay, let's go to Tagalog. Now, this language is going to be very difficult because I do not speak Tagalog. But anyway, I'm going to learn how to do it right now. See, I just typed in hello, translate it, and look what it says at the very top. Taco Bell. See, you guys learn something new every day, don't you? And there's something else that you can learn too. You better go ahead and learn how to hit that like and subscribe button while you're at it, okay? Now let me tell you about a feature called Side Key Settings. Now what this is, is your ability to double tap on the side key and it will open any app of your choice. Now you're wondering, how do you set this up, right? Well, let me show you. 
go to settings, advanced features, and then look for side key. Now, once you find that, just tap on it and you will see that you have the ability to double tap your side key. Now at the very bottom there, you'll see it says open app. Mine is currently set to camera HD. So let me show you. If I tap on my side key, double tap it, right? You will see that my camera will open up my camera HD app. So let's go back to the side key settings, hit settings, and then go to advanced features and then press side key. We're going to put another app into this function. Okay. And I'm going to look for something just a little more exciting. Now you see the little cog wheel on the right tap on it and that's going to take you into the area where you'll be able to assign a specific app to open. Now, which one would be the most exciting? Can you guess? It's Google, of course, because I use it every single day of the week for everything. And you see that my Google is now assigned to open as I double tap on the side key. And I'll be able to assign any application of my choice, including YouTube, where I'll be able to search for all of the latest videos from Mike Sites YouTube channel, right? And speaking of latest, how about this awesome, cool feature called edge lighting? Now, what this is, is allows you to have visual notifications, very cool visual notifications notifications might I add for any application that you have. Now you're either going to have it in your notifications or your display. That's going to depend on your system. So mine currently is on my display. So go ahead and click settings, then go to display. And as you're scrolling, you should be looking for something that says edge screen. Now, once you see that, go ahead and touch it, get into the system. Now this area allows you to have what's called edge panels where you'll have applications on your side panels there that is either on or off. And you can also also have what's called edge lighting. Now you see mine is off currently. If I turn it on, you will see that it will allow me to have very cool visual notifications on any application. So all I have to do is just to touch on it and the settings menu will appear while I can choose either lighting style, choose apps or show edge lighting. Now I'm going to go to lighting styles and see exactly what they have here. Notice I can change the color of my visual notification. I also have advanced where I can adjust the transparency and then I can select effect where I'm able to actually choose whatever it is that suits my particular needs, right? And as you select them, you'll be provided with some quick visual samples of what the effect is actually going to look like when you receive that notification from whatever app you choose. And speaking of choosing apps, if you touch on the choose apps selection, it will take you into the area where you'll be able to select the specific apps that you would like the notifications to be applied to. Now at the very top, you'll be able to select all the available apps, but you know something? I don't think I want all of them turned on. Do you? I just want to be able to select the ones that I want. Wouldn't want this thing constantly flashing, would you? Or else people start thinking that you're the Macy's Christmas Day Parade, right? Let's move on to the next one, number five. This is going to be camera swapping. Now, this is a feature that a lot of people did not even know existed. And I just happened to find out that I'm able to shoot video with this camera. And not only that, but while I'm shooting video, I'll be able to swap on live video shooting. I would be able to swap the cameras front and rear just simply by tapping on the little button to the right of the record button. Now all I have to do is to hit record. And once I do that, I see my live video. I'll be able to swap the camera on live video mode and then I'll be able to swap it back again. Now this feature allows you to be very creative because it almost seems as if you have two cameras at once, both shooting video at the same time. And you know, I tried this feature out on the last video I did, the S20 FE features before this one, and it was amazing. You remember with the little bear? You guys need to go watch that if you haven't checked it out, okay? Now let's move to the next cool feature, palm swipe capture. And this allows you to capture your screen simply by moving your palm from left to right over your screen. Now I'm going to go into my photos to show you that I don't have anything in there currently. Okay. See it's empty. And before I can actually do this little magic trick to capture the screen on my S20 FE, I'm going to have to set it up first, right? And I'm going to show you how to do it also. So go to your settings and then look for advanced features. Tap on that. Once you do that, scroll up a little bit and 
and look for motion and gestures. Once you're in the motion and gestures, you should see somewhere at the bottom, close to the bottom anyway, you will see palm swipe to capture. Now currently mine is turned off, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just tap on it. I'll be able to turn it on from here if I do that anyway. And based on the animated instructions, I think I've got the gist of it. So now it's just for me to go ahead and turn this thing on. So slide it to the right. And now you should be able to capture whatever is on your display screen simply by passing your palm over from left to right on your display screen. Okay, let's see if it works. And remember, I don't have anything in my photos. You remember I showed you that? So let's pass it over. Now you have to touch the screen in order for this to work. It's not going to work in midair, okay? Like I'm doing right now, it's not magic. Okay, you've gotta be able to touch the screen or make contact with the screen and then pass your hand over from left to right. And then you should be able to have a screen capture, see? And pay attention at the very bottom, you have a very brief menu where you will be able to share your images also. Now I just did two swipes. I've taken two images and I want to show you where they ended up. In my photos section you will see I have two images that are in there right now and those are the results of the palm swipes that I just did. Isn't that cool? Of course it is. And how about me giving you something that's even cooler than that like linking to your Windows PC. And what I mean is that I'm going to show you how to connect this smartphone wirelessly to your computer. Now go to settings and from there look for advanced features and tap on that and you will look for link to windows. Now you notice mine is off, right? If I switch that on, it is going to ask me to connect. Now I have several ways to connect this to sign into Microsoft or by scanning a QR code. Now the first thing that we need to do is to go to your PC and download an app. And if you're running Windows 10 Pro like I'm doing right now, just simply go to your Microsoft store and at the very top right you'll find the search bar where you want to type in your phone. Now you see that app, the little blue phone app right there? Just click on that. And once you do that, it will ask you if you'd like to go ahead and install it or get it. Just click get and you'll see that it is installing. It's a very small file, only 40 megs, and it will be able to download into your system very quickly. Now search for your phone. See, I'm circling it right now and click on it. Once you do that, it will open the starter page where you'll be able to now connect this with your Android device. Now I've just clicked on Android and you guys can go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Okay. Now notice my QR code just appeared. And this is the code that I need to be able to connect my smartphone to my Windows PC. Now pull down your screen twice and look for a link to Windows. Tap it and you will see, is there a QR code on your PC? Well, of course there is. So touch it to open your scanner and then you'll be able to scan the QR code on your PC. And voila, look, it's on your desktop right now. The same thing that's on your smartphone is on your desktop. And there it is. That's my wallpaper too. And I am moving this thing around and I'm in my camera app right now. And you can see that this works very well. Now let's go to what's called screen zoom. And this is a way that you'll be able to adjust the text in your messages, for example. Now, if you go to settings and then you will look for display and once you're there you just simply scroll up a little and you will see where it says screen zoom now touch on that that's going to allow you to be able to make an adjustment to the size of the text in your messages for example now you see that i have variable settings at the very bottom i can go from large to small and you notice that on my screen the text is also getting bigger and smaller as i move the adjustment you just select the one that's appropriate for you okay don't want your eyeballs popping out because you're trying to strain looking at something that you can't even see right don't want that to happen and speaking of pop out how about making your display pop with more vivid color. This is called screen mode. Now from here you want to go into your settings then your display and what you're going to look for now is what's called screen mode. Now you've already noticed that mine has been set to vivid right but there is a natural setting too which is not so popish if you want to call it that. Now there's a white balance setting and also some advanced settings here but basically what this is it allows you to be able to have a much more vivid display so therefore you can appreciate it much better right and notice I can go from cool to warm with my white balance control here right my settings and then under that I have the advanced settings where I'll be able to now have much more control over my white balance with RGB red green and blue okay and I know that some of you have been saying that the images don't seem to pop like it does on the flagship Ultra phone, right? But 
this is a way you'll be able to adjust the vivid quality and also have it just stand out as if it were a actual flagship. But you know something? I consider this as a flagship. You know what I mean? So let's move to the final feature. Huh? Don't you wish I had 10 more coming? Lockdown mode. Now notice there are three options when you go to power off your device. Well, I'm going to give you a fourth one. And this feature works by blocking all biometric security, voice recognition, and smart lock. Now, I'm going to show you how to set it up. Go to settings, and then scroll up to where you see the lock screen. Now go ahead, tap on it. And once you do that, you'll be looking for secure lock settings. Go ahead and tap on that. And once you're completed, you will be prompted to draw your security pattern. So go ahead and do that right now. And then you'll be looking for what's called show lockdown option. Do you see it yet? Well, notice that mine is currently set to off. Well, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And now when I press and hold the power button on the right side of my device, you will see that there is a fourth option available and that option is called lockdown mode. So basically while you're sleeping soundly or you're unconscious or you have no recollection of where or who you are, no one can take your phone and use your face or your finger to unlock your smartphone without your knowledge. All right, you guys, thank you so much for letting me do that video for you. You know something? Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. Pretty cool smartphone, right? A lot of features on it. Hey, you know something? There might be another 10 features on there, but you'll never know unless you ask me, right? So what do we say? We live every day. We laugh beyond words. You guys better leave me a comment if you want me to do another video on this, right? So you can learn. Peace. See you guys on the next one.